morning. This is Weekdays with Wendy and the daily flip calendar reading from the Love Your Neighbor No Exceptions calendar is a quote from Timothy Keller. Not everyone is your brother or sister in the faith, but everyone is your neighbor and you must love your neighbor. A couple years ago, a movie came out entitled Love, The Best of Enemies, and it's incredible. I know we're starting to get out more, and hopefully the end of the pandemic is in sight, but you probably still have some time, and I encourage you, look up the movie Best of Enemies and watch it. It's based on a true story that occurred in 1971 in Durham, North Carolina. The town was facing increased pressure to integrate their public schools, but the Klan had a huge presence there and the town was bitterly divided and embroiled in this, this terrible back and forth kind of uh, perpetual fight. And so this man brought together some of the most vocal and diametrically opposed leaders from both sides and brought them together for a series of meetings where they had to hear each other out. And so he brought together two people, Ann Atwater and C.P. Ellis. Ann was the leader of the black activist group to force the public schools to integrate. And C.P. Ellis was the head of the Ku Klux Klan. Pretty much opposite ends of the spectrum. But they came together and Anne was a person of faith. And she was confronted with this kind of reality that she was called to love her neighbor. Um, this was not a man that was practicing any kind of faith that she could recognize. He was persecuting people. He was a racist. He was, his language was full of hate and spite. But she was a person of faith. And she was called to not only love her neighbor, but love her enemies. And so she had to kind of rise above her strong emotions. And over time, she began to see the humanity of C.P. Ellis. And finally, she just realized he thought he was part of the clan, but he really wasn't. And they became friends. The barriers ended up breaking down and he would leave the clan. They would speak together for the rest of his life. And he would become so remorseful over the ideas and things that he had uh, said and done. And they formed the closest of bonds. They were dear, dear friends, brother and sister to the end of his life and then on hers. Her love broke down his hate. We might not be at the same place in our faith, in our cultures, in our backgrounds, but we're still neighbors and you must love your neighbor. Have a great night.